Hello and welcome to the second part of the tutorial for integrating Bitbucket into your Android Studio project. So in our first part of the tutorial, we've created a Bitbucket repository. It's named Tutorial 1, this one. And we've added a very basic project, which is typically the Hello World project that's created by Bitbucket. Uh, oh, sorry, by Android Studio. So here's our repository, the source or repository. So if you notice, uh, the first part of the project, I'm using a Windows machine. So I'm basically simulating a typical usage of a uh, remote repository here. So the first part of the tutorial, uh, we're using a different workstation, which is a uh, Windows 7 machine. Let's assume that that Windows 7 machine is uh, located in your office and you have a personal laptop, which is, let's say, a Mac and uh, and you want to continue working on your project on your personal workstation so this is what we're going to do so normally if we're going to do it the manual way is clone that repository into your local workspace and then what it will do is it will create a copy of the remote repository so that you will have something on your local machine to work with and when it and when the time comes that you're going to commit your code or push your code to the repository it will do so by pushing it into the remote repository So, in Android Studio, it's very, very easy to, to clone a project. Let's do this uh, by showing you how to do that, alright? Um, let's open up our Android Studio. All right, we now have the welcome screen of Android Studio. And what we want is to have our project, our remote project, to be cloned over on our local station. Uh, to do that, we have to select this option, VCS, or check out project from version control. Let's do that now. Click this one. And it will ask you on what type of version control system you'd like to check out from. So we have options here for GitHub, CVS, Git, Google Cloud, Mercurial, and Subversion. So we don't have Bitbucket here, but since our Bitbucket repository is using git as its vcs uh, let's select git and then we will be presented with this screen asking us where is the remote repository of our vcs and a directory name so the remote repository we're going to take that one from our bit bucket this one and the directory name will be the local directory name of your project All right so first let's get the remote repository URL so we need to get that URL which remote repository URL uh, let's go over to the 
overview of our project in Bitbucket and we will we can find the URL here in the upper right we just copy that so just copy that uh, URL and then paste it on your remote repository it will automatically fill up the directory name where it will put our project uh, I think it just gets this uh, directory name from the uh, repository URL which is tutorial one that get all in lowercase but our projects uh, directory name is tutorial one with a capital T so we're going to update that tutorial one with capital T so let's test this connection okay it's going to ask for our password let's just type in the password for your repository if you're following along okay okay our connection is successful means we can clone these without any problem so click the clone button and wait for it to clone our repository Let's open our project like I guess. Then wait for Android Studio to do its thing. It's going to do some cradle stuff first. You can see it here. Things that Credo is doing in the background for us. Right? Once that, that's okay, we can now browse our repository. So, this is our main activity. This is just the same as before. Um, I don't know if you remember our last check-in let's look at here our last commit uh, we changed the hello world stream to hello open source tutorials so let's have a peek on that one there it is so that's it so let's how about us testing if we can commit this code back um let's, let's, let's just update this text hello again there so we've made some changes and notice that the color of our file turned to blue like this one it's blue which means there is, there is a change in our code that we haven't committed yet so let's commit this by clicking the commit changes button now look here there are some files other than the ones that we've uh, other than the one that we've changed it's been updated so we have the app.inl we have the cradle.xml and tutorial one.inl so this happens because our original uh, project is created on a windows platform but since we are now working on a mac os platform 
or these files has been updated to to accommodate uh, our platform so that's that's okay it's okay if we just if we commit it there no harm in doing that but important thing is this one strings.xml that's the file that we've changed we can commit it again Let's commit. Let's click the commit and push so that we could push the code as well to our remote repository. Click push and then wait for it to finish. So as you're pushing, push successful, pushed one commit. Let's look at our remote repository this is our most recent activity uh, this is the last change that we did before so let's refresh refresh this page we're expecting to see this correct commit from our map box updated strings.xml so that's it. We have now successfully cloned a Git repository to our local workstation. So hope you've learned something from this tutorial. If there's any questions, just uh, put it on our comment section or any clarifications or corrections because I may be wrong on some of this if you know better uh, it will benefit our viewers as well if you could point it out all right so that's it happy programming bye bye